myself there. And uh, I was also talking about this. Uh, this is uh, we're going to be playing Chaos Control tonight, which is a kind of rail shooter. It's reliant on FMV, and it looks like it could be fun. Re uh, reviews range from mad to kind of bad to kind of good. And I think most reviewers were not using a mouse. However, I have a mouse, so this should make aiming a hell of a lot easier. It might even make the game pretty fun. Uh, so, yeah, it's got an overly dramatic uh, intro, supposedly. And we're going to watch that. And then we're going to get into the game. And uh, hopefully it's a lot of fun. And uh, let's start it up. Does everything sound all right? I uh, reset everything from uh, the duo stream on uh, last Thursday. Oh, I also commented this uh, this logo here. I am starting to get quite the fondness for the uh, Philips CDI. It's really funny how much it goes to say that, uh, or goes to show that how much like you, you putting your expectations into a console. Like I, I wasn't expecting this to be a Super NES, a Sega Genesis, or the next generation of consoles. I knew what it was, and so far I've just I've loved it so much. I've loved it so much. Oh, and Infogrames here. Fun fact, this is now Atari. So anyway, it starts off with this menu here. We get an option of uh, cursor, slow, and fast. We're going to keep it on fast for now. Uh, might, sw have to sw might have to leave game and swap that depending on what happens. Uh, on the menu, it seems fine, but who knows what it's going to be like in-game. And uh, yeah, let's watch the introduction. I see naked people. March 3rd, 1972. The space orbiter Pioneer 10 took off with a message indicating the Earth's coordinates for the use of extraterrestrial beings. 2050. Quite a long time after having left the solar system, Pioneer 10 was continuing its cosmic journey when it was suddenly stopped in the middle of space and didn't emit anymore. Back on Earth, technicians suspected a transmission failure. How wrong they were. Someone had intercepted the Earth's foolhardy message and was about to use it for his own purpose. Oh. We got a glob of snot coming for us. That kind of echo reverb effect. <laughs> Let her come in, please. This looks pretty good. Lieutenant Jessica Darkhill, 11th Squadron. Now we go to anime. At ease, Lieutenant. Let me introduce you to Major Karanov. <laughs> As you know, I can see his nose hair. The new Babylon is critical. Only a few days and the repeated assaults of the Keshran will defeat our defense system. That is, if you can call it a defense system. Don't forget that before the war, New Babylon used to be a civil base, not a bastion. Major Karanov? Commander? Please go on. Explain to the lieutenant why she is here today. Yes. Lieutenant, you probably know Wait, is she supposed to be human? Just went into orbit around the Earth after the destruction of our colony. Hey, Burster, we're uh, we're watching the intro here. I'm trying to be quiet. Major Karanov, please, let's simply go straight to the point. Thank you. Sorry, Commander. Lieutenant, we have just discovered what the Keshran are preparing around the Earth. Three hours ago, what is undoubtedly the flagship rejoined the rest of their armada. The flagship emerged into normal space beyond Pluto's orbit before getting into position at the Lagrange 5 point. Since then, the enemy forces have joined it. We can therefore expect the worst. Facing this threat, the High Command has decided to attack the Keshran flagship. For this operation, you and your squadron are assigned to the general headquarters of the Manhattan Orbital Defense Forces of the Earth in New York. Thank you, Major. After the takeoff of your unit, the civil and scientific personnel of the base is going to be evacuated, helped in part by the 5th Squadron. You are in charge of guiding and protecting them until Manhattan. Do you have any questions? No, everything is clear, Commander. May I leave? 
Yes. Lieutenant? Jessica. Take care, all right? Oh. You too, Father. I was about to say that's gonna be... I'll see you later. That's gonna be his daughter. It had to be. Some orders. I know how much it costs you to assign such a mission to your own daughter, but it was the only solution you had. Lieutenant Darkheel is our best pilot, and she is also an excellent tactician. But maybe I should have avoided mentioning Major Morgan. She also has way too many, like, gym-like things on her suit. To face such events. But today, I would give anything to have her be somewhere else. God bless her, and may he forgive me. Oh, they might as well be playing the American Anthem right now. I'm pretty pumped. Chaos Control. Exclusive for the Gill of CDI. Ah, fantastic. Yes, we are playing some more uh, CDI goodness burst error. I, uh, this thing's grown on me. It really has. And uh, I saw this game uh, slightly in a YouTube video, and I was like, well, that looks good enough for me. And apparently it's got a sequel, too. So if this goes well, might go through this and the sequel. But uh, yeah, the art style is a little bit jarring because uh, they had like the CG rendered. looks very almost kind of not quite realistic, but more like cartoon realistic. And then bam, anime art style or not quite anime art style. It's like Western anime art style. Not really sure on that, but it looked all right. And the voice acting, actually, they're they're trying. Just like almost everything else in the CDI so far, they're trying. So uh, anyway, let's. Uh, the only options we have are cursor, so we'll just go with that. We got no other uh, nothing else to try out until we just start the game here. I am using a mouse, so hopefully aiming in this uh, is quite smooth. We shall find out though. Here we go! Yeah. Oh. What the hell? I guess they took that out. <coughs> Speaking of mice, I uh, picked up the uh, Sega... Engage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're in there. Oh, there's a Statue of Liberty. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like the enemies are all uh, cutscenes, and it just puts clouds of smoke around them as if they're exploding or something like that. It's fairly smooth, though, the aiming. It's a little jerky, but it's definitely better than if I was using my uh, controller, I would say. Oh, I can just... Oh, I think I overheated my... Uh... Oh, yeah, you can overheat. Okay, bottom... Uh... Let's see, bottom right-hand corner. It looks like you can overheat things. So I can't just hold things down. But I can if I want to, like, put in a bunch of damage uh, very quickly. How's the, uh, how's the game audio versus me? Is anything too loud, too soft, anything like that? Engaged. Okay, what am I... Okay, overheated. Shit. Okay, definitely need to click everything, because holding down just... Not a good idea. Killmore, I gotta use my FPS skills. These things are all coming in so fast. Hopefully I'm not, uh... Taking any damage from most of it, anyway. <laughs> this is this is bad, but it's still kind of fun. It feels like one of those uh, aim trainers, like you uh, you find like on a on a free website. Oh god, I'm overheated. Alright, have a good lurk, man.
Yeah, right? Okay, that was one thing that I read. The They said something about the cloud effect from the sequel. Like, the enemies actually do, like, burst into flames now. So it actually, like, looks at least somewhat like it should. Even though it's still, like, the same kind of tech. You know, I think that... I don't know if those are supposed to be my guys or not. I just blew up a helicopter. And I'm not sure if that was a good idea. Okay, yeah, I think I just took damage by blowing up my own helicopter right there. So I need to watch out for that. There are uh, a few games like this on the uh, Laserdisc Interactive. Uh, I think the Sega CD might even have a couple as well. Boy, I don't even want to know what this would be like with a controller. I don't think there's any sort of power-ups or anything like that, at least not that I've seen so far. Uh, button 2 pauses. So I guess in case my, uh, my wrist starts to hurt. I can't tell if anything uh, gives you any sort of like HP or anything like that that would be useful. Man, I've lost my crosshair a couple of times. Oh shit, I shot my own helicopter again. I wonder if I'm going to get a boss fight at all. I'm going to get myself Carpal Tunnel. I might have to start playing like left-handed or something. <laughs> yeah, I think so far most of the damage I've taken has been from like shooting my own guys. Like those tanks right there. I just shot one of them a little bit ago. Okay, did not shoot my own tank there. I, I refrained. And there's just bugs everywhere. I will catch up with chat in just a second here. I think I see Burst talking. Man, I'm not so sure about the old piloting skills here. Seems like uh, taking uh, random routes just for the hell of it. I am curious what those uh, little blue pod things are. I do keep shooting them. Oh, damn it, I shot another tank, I think. Got him. Oh, overheated. That make it? Fuck yeah. Yeah, I've noticed my uh, my HP bar go down mostly when I end up shooting those uh, helicopters or tanks. I'm not sure what else is actually damaging me though. Hey, Kiba. We're still trying to figure out if we can mount dinosaurs in this game yet or not. We're basically shooting uh, invading globs of snot from uh, what it looked like uh, from the intro. 
Lieutenant Darkhill. Congratulations for today's performance. Really praiseworthy efficiency. Thank you, General. It's a shame that things didn't work out this way on Mars. Enough of useless regrets. The Funzai operation is going to start. You say the Funzai? All operational forces from the Earth will be gathered in order to break through the enemy lines and destroy the Keshran flagship. The squadron leaders are awaiting your orders. What do you mean, my orders? You've been assigned to command the offensive, Major Darkhill. Major? Nobody deserves this promotion better than you. <laughs> your team will also be rewarded for its courage. Here, take this promotion. Now you're going to be the tip of the spear and probably die. One last thing, Major. Our Congratulations. Pick up some radio messages transmitted during the battle on Mars. Some of them are from Major K. We thought you Those eyebrows, you. man. I thank you. I need wicked eyebrows like that when I'm uh, talking all serious. In two hours in the command room. <coughs> What's going on? The satellite My old job used to have really funky chairs like that. The place. They paid a buttload of money for them and nobody ever sat in them because they were uncomfortable. Jessica, no matter what happens, I'll always be on your side. My God, Morgan, how did I manage to survive? Oh no. Major Darkhill speaking. Connect me with the general. Top priority. General speaking. General, we should have the ODS control system checked. I have a bad feeling. You're probably right. I was just told that we have a problem with the ODS. Apparently, it's impossible to control. The Keshron have probably damaged the system using an unknown computer virus. Certainly in order to deactivate our satellite. Or rather to control them. That's probably what happened during the battle on Mars. My team and I were in a higher orbit and that's what saved us. General, we can't launch our counterattack as long as this damned virus is active. Otherwise, we will be destroyed by our own satellites. We have to destroy this damned virus. You're probably right. I'll let this voice Tarot, acting. Our engineer know. I'm invested. Meet her at level 15, research department. Hi, I'm Major Darkhill. I know. I <laughs> What's that transition? But before that, well, that was jarring. To give you an explanation concerning our virtual control system. That's the solution I was told about. Yes. The virtual control could solve our problem. This system is derived Keep from the thinking the same thing. Can we uh, work in one or two more dams? Thanks to electrodes. Hey, that does not look like a dong. Into a computer system in order to use or to modify the program. And without needing any other interface than the one from the human mind. You mean that one can go and fight the virus directly? Physically in a certain way. Well, oversimplifying it, yes. <laughs> As part of this system, the attacker can use destruction program. Then I volunteer. First, I have to tell you about the risks. You are certainly going to be directly connected with the computer. In the case of a fight, your neurons will receive direct shocks. And what could be the consequences? You may feel a slight electric shock, lose your sensorial perceptions, or you can simply die. <laughs> There's a couple of minor things that might happen, or you die. Anyway, you have more chances to succeed than the best of our engineers. Now, if you are ready, I just have to enter your mental print in the computer and connect. <laughs> mental ready? print. Everything is all right. This box is going to isolate you completely to avoid any sensorial interference that could disturb you during the fight. Well, relax now and good luck. The purple-haired lady's voice actress sounded like she was an old lady. Uh, that was trying to do a southern posh accent. So this is the uh, this is the game. Everything gets a smoke cloud that I blow up. All right, so we are inside, physically, according to the game, destroying the virus. Pretty sure that one had a hat on. Let me just rack up that score. Using all my Overwatch skills here, Kiba. I'm still looking for those damn dinos. I also haven't figured out what actually hurts me yet uh, when it comes to 
the game like shooting stuff at me. So far I've mostly hurt myself by hitting my own tanks and helicopters in the first stage. In this one I'm not sure there's going to be any of that. I haven't figured out if there's any uh, targets that need to be like higher priority or not. I'm also using, like, since I'm using a mouse, I might just be destroying everything way too damn fast. It's like we can't destroy the big guys. I'm trying. And there is a, uh... Oh, is this a boss? Looks like we got a boss. Nice. We fucked it up. <laughs> I think we did it too fast. The, uh, FMV is still going. <laughs> Engaged. Oh shit, they put me right into it. Oh, those might be oh no, those are those are them. That's the enemy. I was worried I just shot my own bros. Kiba, I have a feeling you'd be just fine. It's funny, everything actually looks like it is 3D rendered. As if uh, the CDI itself is like producing all these graphics, but it's not. It's just, this is just a video. And that's uh, kind of ingenious. The smoke clouds just crack me up. Alright, so I have taken some damage I've noticed. Like, I'm pretty sure I just took damage there. I missed one of the, uh, the, like, the little bouncing mines, bouncing medis. It's kind of hard to see stuff through the, uh, the smoke effects. Nice you. Oh, we did it. I feel like we're playing that, uh, like, uh, with one of those balls that, uh, Luke, uh, was, uh, using with his lightsaber, training with his lightsaber. Purple hair lady it is rooting for me. I don't know. Shit. These guys you had to hit like dead center pretty much. So you can get them from ways away though. Ooh, we got claws. The claw! Okay, definitely taking damage now. I'm wondering if it keeps switching over to this to load the next area to kind of uh, mask it. That's my guess. Oh, is this a boss? Did we kill the boss already? I think we might have. We might have killed it so fast. Please tell me there's another phase. Yeah, purple hair lady, she's just like, just quite the cheerleader. Yeah, we killed that way too fast. 
fighter you're about to pilot for the counter -attack. Ooh, new fighter? Yes, sir. Counter attack? I noticed that it uses a new mental control system derived from the one I had the opportunity to test before. Except for a few modifications, it is identical. This prototype will follow all your reactions. Here it is. It's a huge monster. Yes. This spaceship has four <laughs> coupling Holocaust MK. It's a huge guns. monster. They're usually installed on heavy ground vehicles. With this, you'll have the same firepower as your squadron. With the materials it's made of in its new piloting system, this monster, as you call it, is as easy to handle as a spy fighter. I think we're going to do great things together. Yeah, right, Kiba. That's what we, that's what I was talking about earlier. The realistic, semi-realistic CGI uh, renderings with the uh, kind of Western influence anime art. Everybody has received his main objective. If we want to avoid a second Mars, we have to be quick and strong. Don't worry, Prima Bella. We are going to clean everything up. I don't want those pigs to destroy Central Park. I've always dreamed of going there for a walk. Prima Bella. Ooh, hitting on her. Even if you fail, I'll find you in hell and kick your ass. Pretty cute stuff, you lovebirds. Come on, Squadron One. Let's get ready for takeoff. Oh, hi, Mark. There are a lot of people counting on us. Don't forget it. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. These cutscenes actually look for the era are crisp. Like, this is uncommon. You didn't see this, like, even on the PS1, Saturn, anything like that. Or very rarely did you. And funny enough, it's been consistent on CDI games so far. This game does require the use of the digital vi uh, digital video cartridge, so the video in this should be like super smooth. Well, it is super smooth, but that's why. It was essentially uh, DVDs on CD back in the day. Not quite as good a quality as a DVD, but it was a precursor too. It's pretty neat. I have this feeling we're going to start getting overwhelmed, like, just from everywhere and have to, like, pick targets. Okay, I guess everything's dead. Oh, I didn't get the last one. Damn it. My God, what a shooting performance. Thanks. Engaged. Five. Wow. Okay, yeah. Not sure what I'm supposed to be shooting at here. I guess those little guys. Guess you can't hit them all. And that kind of pisses me off a little. I want to hit them all. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. Still trying to get over this damn flu I had a while back. Engaged. So you usually get about three to three to five of these so far before you get back to a cutscene. It looks like we're in the outer space now. And uh I'm assuming we're heading towards their big capital ship. Man, if this game only had like some power ups and uh Maybe did this smoke effect a little better, a little differently. It would actually be pretty cool. 
It kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, this one game I played on the Sega CD called Sylphid. Except you had a little bit more, you had a ship that you controlled instead of a cursor. Alright. So far we're getting our murder on. see CMS yeah 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 all the uh Kiba one of the cool things uh that I've done in the last month and a half I would say is I've picked up a mouse for almost every console that has one in fact I actually picked up the last two I didn't have today I did not have a Sega Genesis mouse I did not have a Super NES mouse um I thought there was only a couple games for both of those systems that a mouse supported but then I went and I looked at the list of games especially Japanese ones and it's pretty big and there's a lot of good ones. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to finish out my, my mouse collection. And uh, one day I'm going to actually like go through a bunch of just mouse games on consoles that don't typically use a mouse. Like the PS1, Saturn, Dreamcast, stuff like that. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's, it's a ball style. In fact, all of them are ball style. The Super NES mouse that I bought today, the one that was... Uh, it basically replaces the one that came with uh, Mario Paint. Oh, got a boss it looks like. And uh, Hyperkin, if you look up Hyperkin Super NES Mouse, you'll see they released a new mouse earlier uh, or in mid-2017, and it's actually optical. So I'm going to be using an optical mouse on an actual Super Nintendo, so that's going to be a little weird. But it should be, it's supposedly it's really nice for uh, a lot of the games. It's not that great for Mario Paint, but I wasn't planning on playing Mario Paint anyway. Either that or the reviewers kind of effed up. Uh, there's a switch on the bottom. It looks like it's for DPI. And they're having just problems like making some straight lines. There, we've almost got them all. All right, so we got a boss fight coming up then, huh? That's what I'm thinking. Engaged. Oh god, we're going on a trench run. Oh, there's so much stuff. I think I need to take out these... I think first and foremost, these uh, red things have to be taken out. I think those things can actually hit me. And do pretty good damage. Got him. <laughs> that animation. <laughs> They're like, we don't got the budget for this. Uh, that looks like it. Clear screen, Prima Bella. You know the problem with these damn. Yeah, look at the actual picture. Yep, that's the guy. I ordered one of those today. They're twenty bucks on uh on uh, Amazon, actually. I actually ordered a Super NES, a brand new Super NES peripheral on Amazon today. It's a Titan. I'd seen the holograms before, but I didn't think that... Well, you wanted the main course? Here you have it. Well, we might be already at the end of this game. Blue and green leaders confront the enemy interceptors with Wouldn't that be interesting? The rest of the units, follow me. Let's attack the flagship. We follow you, Prima Bella. Hank, trust me. Wait till we're back to the base. I guess there's some sort of like uh, love side plot something that they're pushing there. I don't know. I wish you could like uh, blow up random shit for like bonus points. I'm also curious if you do end up blowing stuff up early, do you get more points than doing it later?
Well, so far, it feels like the calm before the storm. Oh, look at that! I actually have branching paths. I can go left or forward. Let's go, let's go left. Engaged. CDI library speedrun. <laughs> I'm sure there's a few people in the uh, retro community that would definitely encourage it. I have had people say something about uh, do the CDI challenge in that I play and complete every single CDI game. But uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. I personally like to enjoy myself. I'm not much for achievements or challenges, uh, or at least long running stuff, anyway. I'll do something because it's fun. Be kind of cool if you did actually have more uh, brand. Like if this game had more like power ups, uh, slightly better uh, effects when you blow stuff up, more branching paths, maybe a little bit of like just a slight amount of control. There's actually a lot of potential here. Don't screw it up this time? When was last time? When did I ever screw up? I'm killing like fucking 90% of them. Dick. Okay, this is starting off in like the exact same area. Oh! I think I needed to go straight there. I think this is making me run the, uh, run the gauntlet over again. Because this is identical to where I was just... Or identical to what I was just doing. Okay, so... Might need to keep this straight if this ends up being a maze. What is the fire thing? Alright, so we're gonna go straight here. So we're gonna have to probably remember, I have a feeling, or I have a feeling we have to remember. Okay, so we can't go right, but we can go straight. Can we go anywhere else? Nope, going straight. Engaged. I put that in chat so I can remember it in case it uh, wants me to go through multiple areas. Okay, so, and I'm only going to write it if it's correct. So we have right and we have up. We're going to go right. Engaged. Yep, I had a feeling this was going to happen. Fire. It definitely uh, slowed down the pace of these sections. I think it was probably to make it not unfair if you had to replay a lot of it. So you don't end up uh, dying too easy. Couldn't even see any of that. Okay, I think that must have been the correct choice because we're still going here. We went right, I believe. can't shoot through things that have uh, been exploded already so I keep trying to have to shoot around them I'm actually turning my head with this uh, Yeah, I almost wish they would have uh, tried to render some polygons or even some sprites to just remove those out of the way. Got him!
Whoa, wait, we just phased through the wall there? Fire. Fire what? We did it. I don't know what bomb we just set up. We just basically just phased through a wall. But oh, watch this end up being the end of the game. Oh, that's going to throw me off if it is. I think I just saved Earth. Well, goddamn. Commander, our radar has just detected a surge of energy at Lagrange Five Point. Damn it. It's Jessica. Did you know the position of the fighting groups? <laughs> no, Commander. L no a lot of emotion out of her dad right there. But I received messages from some isolated vessels. Look at that dude on the right's face. His forehead. It. It's like Go Frankenstein, man. Hooray! We got it! Have you noticed the mess in the rest of their fleet? Yeah, but uh, who did it? Hank to Prima Leader. Hank to Prima Leader. Answer. Jessica, answer. Jessica. My God, look at that. Look at that forehead crinkle. Commander, I have an isolated Yee. call on an emergency channel. Major Darkhill to Lunar Base. Can you hear me? Asking for immediate landing authorization. Damaged vessel. I repeat. Jessica, you're alive. <laughs> She's safe. We did it. Oh, I was so worried there for a second. My heart was just like going a, a mile a minute. I need more than that, Father. The vessel can hardly fly. Bring up all your emergency vehicles. It's going to be a tough landing. And for a tough landing, you need a tough guy. Hank, what are you up to? Well, when you're a gentleman, it's always a pleasure to bring the little lady back home. Right, fellas? Yeah, especially a lady like this one. Father, <laughs> this is a very time. weird exchange. We've got them. Seems <coughs> like I hope so. Woohoo! You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> we did it! This game was less than 40 minutes long. And yeah, all right, we're uh, we're gonna Je just no, Jessica, you, you get out of here. This is this is all me. Bam. We're in the record books now, boys. All right, so. Uh, I'm going to see what the credits play here, and then I am, uh, actually, I'm going to have to bring up a list of uh, other games. I might have to switch over to something like Mutant Rampage or something like that, because I do not want to stop streaming yet. I did not mean to beat that game so quickly. Uh, that's pretty cool, though. It, this game does have a sequel, but I don't have it yet. It's called Solar, uh, Solar Crusade, and uh, yeah, I kind of want to kind of want to play that one. So, anyway, oh, okay, this thing doesn't, even, there's not even credits or anything like that. Uh, there is a similar game called Escape from Cyber City I might throw in. And let's see here. I could play The Apprentice, which is a platformer. It's like the only platformer on the CDI, but I kind of want to dedicate a whole night to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would even go so far as to say it's only a 7 out of 10. Two points off because of no mountable dinosaurs. Uh, one point off due to the short playthrough. Man, I hope that game did not cost much money back in the day. That would have been a real bitch. 
Of course, if I was using a regular controller, that might have been way harder to pull off. But uh, the music in this game is fantastic, though. Seriously. So good. Um, Man, I want to play a similar game. Man, I just wish I had the, uh, the sequel. I guess I don't have to stick with a CDI. I could swap over to something else as well. I could do a uh, Gamera 2000. I want to dedicate a whole night to Gamera 2000, though. It's another rail shooter I've really been wanting to play. That's uh, it's a Japanese game, but it's got like terrible English dub, and I kind of want to play it. But I don't think I'm going to do that tonight. Let's bring out. Fuck it. Let's do Thunder in Paradise. Let's do it. I, uh... Yeah. That sounds like a terrible game that we can play, and I believe it's, uh, mouse-capable, or mouse-compatible, so... Let's do that. 